It's in the class today. They, they, they don't go to next next uh, step stage. Small but good. Not too much but good. Hi. Carlos, happy St. David's Day to you. Thank you. You too. Thank you very much. Um, and to all the Welsh. Yeah, to looking the, good there with your, yeah. your daffodil. Very good. Thank you. Any uh, injuries from the other night? Fresh. Fresh injuries? No, no, no. Nothing. Right. Good. Just old. That old, uh, old injuries. Nothing new. And Leon Britton, how, how did he come through after the coming off? I did, um, he did well last game, so uh, he did... Um, in the, in the part that we must control more the game, so he, he came inside, he's, he's training like the others, he's, uh, he's doing well, so he's available, he's available like all the players. Is he an option for you for this set? All the players are option, of course, all of them, <laughs> no, no exceptions. We <laughs> must choose 18, of course, and when you choose 18, some will be out, some will be included, so this is normal, 11 will play. Having not played since October... Were you impressed with his influence when he came? Yeah, it's, uh, he's not young anymore, of course. So uh, when we don't play a long, long time, uh, sometimes it's difficult. But he's a, a fit player. He's a player that uh, um, is, a, uh, is a fit player. So uh, he was involved after training maybe two weeks or something. So he was involved. And uh, he, did, uh, he did well, like all, all the players. Preparation is difficult for all teams at the moment in this weather. How have you found it? Uh, nothing too much different. So uh, uh, we have places to training. Uh, so we we didn't change uh, too many things. Just we moved uh, to to training in the in the place that we have uh, where is the grass is is, is better to training. In, the, in this case, in the stadium. Uh, but um, but. Uh, we don't have any problem to prepare the game, any, any excuse. And the game itself, no, no concerns it could be postponed? Um, about the game, next game? The next game. Yeah, it will be um, important game like all the, all the games are important uh, to us uh, since we arrived. So uh, uh, we respect a lot West Ham. They have a, they have a very good coach, they have a very good... Uh, Good players also. Um, the season is under the expectations, I believe, to West Ham uh, uh, this season, uh, but uh, they have value. Uh, to our part, uh, we want still doing uh, very well in the, our home games. And uh, to do that, uh, uh, I think uh, the big challenge will be to the fans also. Uh, I think uh, if uh, I'm, I appreciate a lot the support that the fans give, gave to us in the in the all the games away and home, uh, but special the last games, the home games was uh, they was really uh, very powerful to support the team. They they gave confidence and they gave a lot of support. And um, what we expect, we expect the double comparing with the last uh, last games. We expect the double from our fans. We'll try to do our double also because we need that to uh, to discuss the three points against uh, against West Ham. So um, I hope that our fans understand that uh, the support of them is really really very important, and uh, we want to hear them since the first minute at the, at the last minute in the in the in the next game. Is there more pressure on you as a team? Because you've dropped back into the relegation zone, do you feel a bit more pressure because of the league? Situation? I don't feel any pressure. I seem that I'm under pressure. No, I'm not under pressure. Absolutely, no, no, absolutely. No. What about the players? Yeah, we was more under pressure. If you understand the pressure like that, we understand that it was under pressure when we was six points to the relegation or seven. So this is uh, you can understand pressure, but also pressure. I don't think that is pressure. Pressure is in Syria. There is a big pressure there, and uh, Afghanistan, and and this this kind of situations. So this is a big pressure, and Iraq also. In football, pressure is natural pressure to try to win a game, and you you uh, pretend to be better than opponent. And after inside the pitch, uh, you must discuss different arguments against another team, and let's see at the end which team will uh, will win. Usually, the team that play better win, not all the time. And uh, what, with, uh, what you try to, to do on Saturday again, try to play better than opponent to be uh, better uh, than them. So, uh, like this is the natural pressure of a game. But nor, no, to me, to my part, to my side and my players, believe me, not is nothing different. Is that something you've spoken about with the players this week about 
still playing with the same freedom, even though you've moved back into the relegation zone? My conversation with the players is very specific. It's about uh, all the times about uh, uh, tactical and strategic and uh, the things that uh, we must do, uh, try to prepare the scenarios about the opponent, uh, what they can do, what they can move, uh, and uh, the way that we must play um, against them. So this is my conversation. So because it's my focus. So uh, I don't. I. I. If I. When I play, I don't like to hear from my manager all the time uh, that uh, today is raining and uh, because it's rain now we must win and today is hot and uh, because it's hot today uh, it's better. We, I, th I think this, I think in my opinion, is not the best way to, to manage a team. I will feel confidence to myself if you are my manager and you tell me prepare the scenarios, prepare me the specific things that I must do, the things that I must do, and the things that I can do, and, uh, and be focused in this, in this part of, the, of, of my, my job. So I think this, you win confidence and you know what you must do. And after, let's fight. So this is our strategy, to think about position that we have, points and so on. Uh, you are missing time because it's nothing related to the next game, you understand what I mean? So the information is very, very specific and uh, about the, all the time very specific about next game, about the, the opponent, the individual and the, and, the, and the collective. And of course they have a lot of information because really they have good players and uh, we must be focusing on a lot of things. And, but we know that all the teams, they have weak points and we try to export the weak points that they have. But uh, to do, to, again, to achieve the three points we need uh, a big commitment uh, between the players and a big commitment uh, with the fans also because we need we need them a lot on we'll need them a lot on on Saturday. West Ham, what are you expecting from them? They've been quite inconsistent the last few weeks. Well, about to talk about the what they are doing, I'm not the correct person to talk about that because I'm not the manager of West Ham. Um, to talk about the abilities of the team, I can do that. It's a, it's a good team. It's a, they have. Uh, uh, Good players. Uh, I know the manager. I think we play. I think I remember we, we play one time when I was in Sporting to UEFA, UEFA Euro, Europe League. I think we play against uh, against Everton in that moment. I know him. He's a good manager. They have a good team. Uh, so we expect a, a difficult game. They have the the style that uh, that um, can create problems uh, to the opponents. We know the style, we try to, to block them in the, the style that they have and after we, we know that, again, like the older teams, they have some weak points and we'll try to explore. Nothing different that we did in, in the past, so let's focus in the game and uh, fight to the three points, what we can promise. Marco Anatovic is in good form for them at the moment. Is he a player you've looked at this week? Listen, if you ask me individual about how my players, I usually I, I try to go out of the individual I will not talk about the individual of the opponents. So, no, if I don't like to talk about my players individual, because I understand this is a collective game, I will not talk about the individual of the opponents. No. Okay, but he's in form. He, 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 again, he, he's got qualities. Again, I will not talk about the individual of the opponents because if you ask me this, and if you tomorrow we play against Barcelona, you ask me about Messi, I will I will say the same. So. It's not my job. My job is try to prepare a team to play and not to talk about the individual. We respect them a lot. This is absolutely sure. We respect the, the individual and the collective a lot. And uh, and after we'll do our our job to try to to beat them. You were quite uh, honest about the reasons you felt you'd lost at Brighton um, and chased the game by being quite bold and adventurous when you fell behind. If you were in the same situation on Saturday, you went a goal behind, would you do the same again or would you approach it differently? I don't know. This is, you know, that this is not a, uh, I don't think that any manner to plan what we'll do uh, during the game because uh, if not, we are not managers. So you are managers to, to take decisions but to uh, fill the game. Uh, you must fill the game, you must fill your team, you must fill the environment, you must to take the decisions. So, and after you take the decisions with the things that you can't, uh, you don't have an answer now. You will have an answer in the moment with the things that are happening. And after you do according 
with your feeling, with the feeling of your players, with the, the players that you understand is important to move, sometimes the weakness of another team, and after you, may, you move the things. But uh, now, if you ask me uh, if I have an answer to your question, I don't have in this moment. Because if, if I will answer to you, uh, I'm not a manager. I'm a manager from the PlayStation because I preview everything and I don't preview absolutely nothing. I, we must feel the game and trust in our instinct to, to try to, to move the things. Can I ask you, Carlos, about uh, your next FA Cup opponents, which was clear after last night, Spurs uh, winning, winning last night? This dossier is closed. Just, just in terms of the game last night, and it's the first chance I've asked you, now you know who your opponents are. The, the cup game, the dossier, is closed now. Right. So I talk about uh, everything about the cup after the game against Sheffield Wednesday. You, you was there. I was there. So I, I said, close the dossier okay. and open the dossier West Ham. So if it's closed, it's closed. I don't have the key. The key is <laughs> in my house. Okay, so I can't open, sorry. Forget that game then, forget okay. that. Okay, forget but don't go around because no, you, you I, try I, to I, go I, around. The, 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 the issue of uh, VAR, last night was again something people were talking about um, having watched that, the game, watched what happened and in previous FA Cup games are you unhappy with the way VAR is working at the moment? It's a question of habitude. It happened the same in Portugal in the beginning it, it's everything very strange and after the people adapted uh, to the things uh, I think there are a lot of positives about the decisions as you understand, if you are a decision that in the important game, that the referee, they are very good referees, but in that moment they, they, they didn't saw it something, but it's something that's crucial to that moment and can create a big damage in the, in the, in the final result. If you have something that can help, help the referees, not help us, it's help the, the referees to take the better decision, I think, uh, I think uh, it's a... So I think I'm, I'm happy to, to see the, the things in the in good way, but uh, I understand sometimes and what can happen that sometimes you score a goal, and all the times that you score a goal because the protocol, the referee must hear the the, the referees or the, the analyzer that are they are in in London, and uh, the fans in this moment maybe they it's a goal and they go and after they look to the referee like oh. And the referee starts doing like this, <laughs> like this, like this, and the referee, oh, and after is a, a new celebration, it's goal. Hey! So it's not goal. Oh, see, this is a, a little strange to the football. I understand that. And it happened yesterday, it happened yesterday. But uh, uh, I think it's a question of, it's a situation of, uh, uh, it's everything new in this moment. Do you think more needs to be done for the fans in the stadium so they know what's going on? It's a question of habitude. They will understand that uh, all the time uh, the referees will will have. Um, uh, so to be clear, that the goal is is, uh, is it is really a goal or it is a really penalty or something. Uh, it's a question of habitude. In the beginning, it's very strange. I saw yesterday. Everybody say like, "What is this?" I, I'm talk I'm not talking that if it's good, bad, or something. I'm just reporting because, you know, as you know, the VAR start last season in, in Portugal and start this season official so I and I saw some games in, in in Portuguese competition in the beginning it was really very strange also but if you ask me now if they have a problem about that it's not uh, a problem anymore but uh, still still uh, demands that is analyzing and, and demands do mistakes even with uh, with cameras and uh, they can do mistakes also do, do the fans in the Portuguese games? Do they know what's going on? Are they yeah. shown on screens? Yeah, they know. They know. They right. know. They know because they after of, after also the the league uh, or the federation of the league give some examples about what happened with the real image from the VAR. So they do the kind of education. So what happened is this goal is not valid because this and they put the, all the images that the referees have and they said that we are waiting and put the communications also. So to hear what the referees are talking each other with the, and so on, so they understand uh, exactly what happened. Yeah. Do you think that should happen here? So again, I'm a simple, simple manager. I'm not, I'm not here to, to change nothing or to, to give too much opinions about, about football. There are a lot of people that have opinions about it. If, if you ask me if education is important, is it okay, is it in all the world, 
if you educate the people to understand what happened, it's better that the people don't understand what happened. And of course, if you can do something that uh, educate them that really what or, listen what is happen happening there is that is that exactly like this. This situation happened in the real time, and now after 10 seconds, the the video referees seeing this angle, that angle, that angle, that angle, they are in communication. And the referee, maybe the guy said, hey, hey, hey wait a little. It seems that it, it was a fault or is offside, it's offside. Wait, wait a little, wait a little. They review, hey, offside, it was offside. So, and after they, the, the, goal, the goal was invalid and it's uh, offside. So maybe if they put this kind of image uh, to the people see, uh, maybe it's a kind of education that people know exact, uh, exactly what happened. So in the future, when they are in the state, if something happened, maybe they know. If you ask me if this this thing, I'm not talking again. I'm not uh, say that is good or bad. You understand? I'm just reporting, uh, report what uh, what uh, my experience of what I saw. It understand? But if it is good to football or bad to football, this uh, is another another situation. Thanks, Carlos. Cheers. Carlos, we were speaking with Martin Olsen yesterday, and he said that um, they were delighted, obviously, that you won in the FA Cup and you've moved to the quarterfinals. But actually. He thought the win was more important because it got back them back into a winning mentality ahead of the West Ham game. What's your viewpoint on that? Do you think the two are very much related or is it very much as you've been saying to us, that was a cup win and now West Ham's a different story? Of course, I, I, I tried to answer this question before. Uh, when we, we play before the cup game, you asked you ask me and I said that it's a different competition. But the face that we are when, when you win, the face of the players when you win is one thing, the face of the players when they lose is another one. Absolutely. So make, make a difference, of course. If you are more happy, if you are more, um, if you win, you win more confidence and you are more happy also to, to the things. So um, in this part, uh, of course. But uh, listen, if uh, eventually the game against Sheffield Wednesday was not the best, uh, We'll be ready to the game on West Ham, absolutely sure, because uh, uh, we must be we must be ready. So and we know what we are doing. So uh, everybody knows what he's doing, and uh, and we must fight and be concentrated in the, in the things. But uh, the faces is, is different, and when the face is more happy, so uh, uh, we work better, and the players work better with the happy faces. Absolutely sure. So from a psychological point of view, it's very much a conscious decision on your part that something like that, you don't tell them to see it in black and white, one game is one game and one's another game, that actually, no, psychologically, you need to bring it all together. Absolutely. It's a lift. Even he is not a, even there are different competitions, but of course, a victory, even if it was a, a friendly game, if it was a friendly game, so it's completely different, of course. The, the negative about one, one uh, bad result, uh, if you have opportunity to to change the things with a friendly game, a cup game, or whatever, uh, and the mood change, of course, uh, help. But it's not, it will be not crucial to mm -hmm. uh, three o'clock uh, kick off on Saturday. So the more important will be the things that we'll do in that game. Um, but uh, again, uh, a victory uh, all the time help uh, help the players um, and the team, of course. Another point that that Martin made, and I don't want you to think he was being complacent in any way because he he wasn't, but. He said he was very much looking forward to the West Ham game to get back on track. But also, even though West Ham are in what, 13th, there's only three points separating you. And he feels that because of Swansea having taken scalps from the likes of Liverpool and Arsenal in the last few weeks, actually that gives you guys a bit of a mental advantage over other teams who possibly are going to get sucked into this relegation battle. Well, I think the, the advantage that we can take, if you can consider it a theoric, theoric, theoric advantage, is that we come from down and we are progressing. And this is what you are one way that we are progressing the things. So we was really bad, far away from the, the relegation, from the line of water. And in this moment, we are there. So, but we are progressing. Uh, I don't know about the points, but uh, we are in the last eight games or nine games, we are one of the teams that achieved more points. In the competition, so uh, this of course means that we are strong, that uh, because the numbers all the time represent what what we are doing, and uh, we, we are strong because we are winning points and we are winning uh, against uh, good teams also. 
um, even we lose one or another game because it's normally in our path. This has happened with all the teams in the world, especially the teams from the bottom. The teams lose more games that, than win. We are doing exactly the opposite. We are winning more than we are losing. So uh, in this path, we are uh, in a very good way and we are progressing. In theory, make us stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. The opposite is more harder. When you have a team that, uh, for example, in December or in November was in 8th place or 10th place and after you, you start losing games, losing games, losing games and you go to the, to the, to the zone to battle to, the, 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 to stay in the, in, the, in the competition, I believe that it's more mental, it's more difficult to deal with this. I believe that. But again, this is all the things in theory. Because in the practice, we must do on the pitch <laughs> Three o'clock kickoff, and let's fight to the three points. That's what we must do. Football can be quite a ruthless game, though, in so many ways. And I'm not saying this as a, as a, a criticism of, of, of anybody involved. But have you heard of the term sledging in cricket, where the opponents of one team will try and get a bit of a mental advantage over their, their opponents? I wonder if that's something that, when you're getting to this really crucial end of the season, you as a manager would suggest might go into as one of the weapons in the arsenal of your players you know to 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 come out mentally tougher than your opponents no we we try to do all the time but again to me in my point of view you are better and we are more strong if you know exactly what we must do you understand what i mean if if i come here to do something and i know uh, what i expect i know the scenario i know that what i must to do in the, all the situations give me to me a big confidence to go to the things and uh, when we what is the, the problem sometimes or can be a problem can uh, provocate some ans ans anxiety 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 what provocate when you go to something that you don't know correct sometimes even a little thing sometimes that first time that you go to a dentist you are nervous you are with Sometimes you do, you do a little surgery, you don't know what will happen at the first, and you stay like, oh, what is this, and so on. But experience is something that you achieve when we leave the things. And experience also, and to be safe, you must know and try to, to know exactly what can happen in the game, the scenario that can happen in the game, what I must do uh, in the game. So it's the, more the part that we try to put our players strong. This is our part to be to uh, don't bring that kind of ans an an anxiety anxiety that uh, this is a very word to me very hard word to me that you don't know what what will happen you understand so the things can change the things can change but if uh, we try to preview the things and the players know exactly what they must do they feel more confidence they trust trust more in the in themselves they trust more in the colleagues to to achieve something that is qualitative. So it's the part that we're training more. Instead, give, uh, like, uh, forget the priest. I, I don't want to damage any kind of priest, but like a priest to talk with them, this and this and this and this and this and this. You are the best player of the world. So, and so on, and this kind of, of the thing. So, like one, one, one time, a, a Portuguese coach said all the time to a goalkeeper that you never play, that you are the best goalkeeper that I saw here. You are fantastic you are the best goalkeeper of the of the europe you are the best one I'm a coach but i never play of course because another one is the best of the world <laughs> so, so <laughs> this is a false motivation <laughs> this is a false motivation because it's not true so you, you wouldn't <laughs> encourage your players to try and exploit mental weaknesses in in their opponents then is that you just want to concentrate on your team not to exploit something in the no, exactly what we try to explore is the weakness of the other teams because all the teams have some weak points all of them make the teams one more vulnerable that, than another so of course the west ham don't have too many weak points but they have weak points like we have also weak points we try to to cover our weak points uh, not weak points, but the, the strong points of the opponent that they can damage to us. But also we know that there are some weak points that we can explore. So this is a fight inside the, the game that if the player knows exactly what they must do to cover the strong points and try to explore the, the weakness, they feel more confident. But after, again, so after the pen, if you are winning, drawing uh, and so on. So this, after is the game. Is there any line that you wouldn't let them cross? Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Is, there any, no. Is there any point where you'd say, that's not good sportsmanship, I don't want you to do that? 
Is there, is, there, is there a line that you draw that you say, right, that is what it is to be a good sportsman, and I don't want you to, to cross that line, even if it means you gain an advantage? Do you have any sort of... No, 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 I, I don't use too much. I don't use uh, mind, uh, mind jobs, uh, mind, uh, mind uh, games. games. Mind games. Now, if the opponent talk about uh, me or my, my team and so on, and if you talk very bad or, or something, uh, he will talk alone all the time. <laughs> You'll, you'll talk a, a, to, to himself because I will. I never gave an answer uh, to uh, my colleague. Just, just if uh, someone tried to damage me or my players, this is completely different. But uh, in the tactical things or technical or something, so I never. This is not my way. I go with my path uh, uh, with a big self confidence himself, self confidence with the team, and try to do the things. Is our way. And not, we don't go inside the mind games, never, no, never. Well, I sincerely hope your way works at the weekend, I'm sure Thank you. Will. Thank you, Carlos. Cheers. Thank you. It's okay? Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you.